Conditions are tasty today. Wind speeds of up to 25 knots are forecast and gusting beyond that, as this will not be for the faint of hearts. In the meantime, we are looking at Emirates Team New Zealand who are changing their wing. It was the British, of course, who had theirs damaged yesterday. Ken, what do we read into this? Well, we read not good things. They're on the dock and the rest of the uh, boats are out on the race course. They did, there are people scampering and running about like they're trying to do something. That is the wing that just came out of the boat. The anemometer has come off. They weren't out very long. They popped out, they turned around, they went back in. So whatever happened, happened fast. It's kind of a big turn of events for the Emirates Team New Zealand. They're sitting here on the beach trying to get their second wing in, and Ben wants to start this race and, and tick off a win, a win in the column. So port entry for the British crew and Sir Ben Ainsley. And, and I apologize to Kiwi fans out there because we didn't even see them come out through the harbor and get out on the race course. So here we go. Kiwis are out and uh, ready for action. And hold on again, folks, because this ain't going to be dull. I can guarantee you that. The Kiwis are trying good. to get their timing right. There's no way the Kiwis are going to get to the starting line on time. So this is kind of like what we saw in the first race. For some reason, and we'll try to find out later, for some reason, they just wanted to stay away and start behind and hold on. Timing is everything. The British across the water first up and already going at 42, 43 knots. Just slowed up again. Both hulls going pretty deep in the water for a while there, and there's the difference. Look at the Kiwis. There's a 12 knot speed difference going around that mark, so yeah, you can take it cautious from time to time, but you better be prepared for that lead to get shoot up if you make another mistake like that. Very smooth foiling tack by, by the Kiwis. And Land Rover BAR, again, that, that Achilles heel of theirs is, is maybe not the foil stability and plugging. Then not only did they plug, but then they kind of flew the holes quite high coming out of the tack. That's all it needed. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so the race very much on right now. The Kiwis have taken the lead. And if that's them, Coping with trouble, then the rest of the fleet better watch out. Two boats. Here he goes. Here we go. The trigger being pulled by Sir Ben Ainsley and the British crew. They've got the Kiwis where they want them at the outset. And the boat speed gaining all the time here. The Kiwis. Oh, they're taking a time with those guys. Oh, my goodness me. Men overboard. Crisis time for New Zealand. A boat suffering all manner of damage. A complete pitch pole by Emirates Team New Zealand. They got on their foils super fast and then just plunged. But for the New Zealanders, they're in a pretty deep hole right now. And there are still men in the boat itself. Just the worst nightmare for any of these sailors out here. They were going some as well, Kenny. They got so high, so fast. I was just about to say, man, those guys popped up on their foils quick. Turns out they popped up too quick. Well, that is just about yeah. as yeah. dramatic a development as we've seen in any of the races uh, okay. in the America's Cup World Series or indeed here, certainly in okay. Bermuda. The, the whole of the Kiwi team will be working no doubt through the night to repair the damage, get themselves back out on the water tomorrow to compete again. That's what they live for.